Dear student, I am Satnam Singh, your economics teacher. But before the chapter, I request to all of you to subscribe my channel and like the video and press bell icon so that in future, whenever I upload the videos of my subject, you will easily get the notification of the newly uploaded video. Thank you very much. Now, let us start the chapter National Income lecture 2 national income basic concept now what is the objective learning objective of this lecture after this lecture the students will able to understand about should understand the term investment can distinguish between depreciation and capital loss need to study the concept of depreciation to distinguish between gross and net Understand the concept of net indirect taxes and its relevance to reach from factor cost aggregates to market price aggregates. Understand the concept of domestic territory and normal resident. What is national income aggregates? There are four national income aggregates. What is the meaning of national income aggregates? There are eight aggregates of national income out of which four are domestic concepts and the other four are national concept. We will first discuss the domestic concept. Domestic aggregates means the four main measures are GDP MP, NDP MP, NDP FC and GDP FC. These four are domestic income aggregates. Now what is national income aggregates? National income aggregates are GNP MP, NNP MP, NNP FC and GNP FC. These four are national aggregates. What is the concept of investment in economics? Investment or capital formation refers to addition to the capital stock of an economy. Investment can be looked up in two forms. First, gross investment. And second is net investment. What is the meaning of gross investment? The total addition made to the capital stock of the economy in a given period of terms as gross investment. What is net? Net investment means the actual addition made to the stock, capital stock of the economy in a given period is termed as net investment. Then net investment equal to gross investment minus depreciation what is the meaning of depreciation depreciation means fall in the value of fixed assets due to normal wear and tear expected obsolescence and called consumption of fixed cost also called current replacement cost consumption of fixed capital occur depreciation occur due to the following three reasons first normal wear and tear expected obsolescence Accepted obsolescence means due to change in the technique of production, for example, electric engine substituting diesel engine. Due to change in demand of goods and services, for example, demand of nylon cloths decline with the introduction of trellis plants. What is capital loss? Capital loss refers to the fall in the value of fixed assets due to unexpected obsolescence, for example, natural calamities, war, fire, etc. It is a it reduces the production capacity of the economy, but depreciation no reduce the production capacity of the economy. What is the significance of the concept of depreciation? Depreciation is used of differentiate bit net from gross in national income. According, gross concept includes depreciation, whereas net concept do not include depreciation. Thus, gross minus dep equal to net. And second. GDP MP minus depreciation equal to NDP MP. Second, NDP MP plus depreciation equal to GDP MP. And third, NDP FC plus depreciation equal to GDP FC. And four, GDP FC minus depreciation equal to NDP FC. What is the meaning of factor cost and market price? Value of final goods and services can be estimated either at factor cost or market price. 
What is the meaning of factor cost? It refers to the all factor payment made by product producing units to the factors of production involving in the production of goods and services. And market price, it refers to the price at which the goods is sold and purchased in the market, is known as market price. And what is the concept of indirect taxes? Taxes which are levied by the government on production and sale of commodities are called indirect taxes. For example, excise duty, sales tax and custom duty, etc. When a producer goes to the market for sale, government imposes indirect taxes which is added to the factors of factor cost of a commodity. The impact of indirect taxes is that it increases the price of the commodity. Factor cost plus indirect taxes equals to market price. For example, factor cost is rupees 10,000 and indirect taxes plus 10% equal to 11,000 is a market price of a commodity. What is the meaning of sub subsidies? These are cash grants by the government to the enterprise to encourage production of certain commodities or to promote export or to sell goods at a price lower than the market price. The subsidies lower down the price of the commodity. For example, factor cost minus subsidies equals to market price. 20 rupees is a factor cost. Government grant the subsidy to 10%. Then 18 rupees is the market price. It means subsidies reducing the market price of the commodity. Factor cost product at market price versus factor cost. Factor cost plus net indirect taxes equals to market price. Paid factor cost paid to the factors of production and market price pays by the household. For example, factor cost rupees 10 and sales tax rupees 10%. So, what is the market price? Market price equals to 100 rupees plus 10. It means 10% of the factor cost. Sales, sales tax is rupees 10%. Then 110 is the market price. It results increases the price, but subsidies. For example, factor cost is 10, subsidy is 10%, market price is equal to 100 minus 10, equal to rupees 90, which reduces the prices of the commodity. So, taxes increases the price of the commodity, but subsidies reduce the price of the commodity. Product at market price versus factor cost. Difference between factor cost and market price is net indirect taxes. Concept of, what is the concept of net indirect taxes? NIT is the difference between indirect taxes and subsidies. NIT equal to indirect taxes minus subsidies. Factor cost plus net indirect taxes means indirect taxes minus subsidies equals to market price. The factor cost plus net indirect taxes equals to market price. For example, the convergence is GDPFC plus net indirect taxes equals to GDP MP and second NDP MP minus net indirect tax is equal to NDP FC and third NDP FC plus net ind NIT equals to NDP MP and fourth GNP MP minus NIT equal to GNP FC. This is the most important formulas which are used in the numericals. What is domestic income or national income? Domestic product is the output produced within economic or domestic territory of the country. It includes domestic in uh, parts of the ships and aircraft owned and operated by the normal residents between the two countries, fishing vessels, oil and natural gas rings, and floating platform operated by the residents of a country in an international water where they have exclusive right of the operation. And third, embassies, consulates and military establishment of a country allocated abroad. For example, Indian embassy in Russia is a part of the domestic territory of India. The Indian High Commission in Colombo is a part of domestic territory of India. Yes. Next is a domestic territory includes political boundaries, high commissions, embassies, militaries, base located overseas, ships, fishing vessels, aircraft owned by residents. And domestic territory includes embassies, 
eight agencies of foreign governments situated in India, Office of International Organizations such as World Bank, etc. Normal residents of the country. Normal residents is defined as a person who normally ordinarily reside in a country for more than one year and in in economic interest lies in economic territory. It means residents, households and production units. Residents means households and production units. So resident is not equal to citizen. Citizen based on the nationality but residents based on the economic interest. Normal residents of a country means all households in economy is equal, not equal to residents household. Household means residents plus non-residents household. Non-residents household in a domestic territory includes foreign visitors or on conferences, vacation tours, seasonal workers within a domestic territory, diplomats of the other countries living within the domestic territory, foreign employees in international organizations, foreign consulates, technicians, engineers who come to the project, normal residents of a country. In this topic, the important concept is residents households outside the domestic territory includes citizen of a country employed in their own embassies, consulates and military base, medical patients and students, citizens working in the local official of international organizations, so what is category of institution and person are not treated as residents of the country? International organization like World Bank, World Health Organization, IMFO, ILO, etc. are not treated residents of a country but of international area. Employees of the international organization are considered residents of the country to which they belong and not to the international area. Third point, foreign staff of embassies and member of foreign armed forces located in the country. Next, category of the institution and person are not treated as residents of the country. The crew of foreign ships, aircrafts, etc. Foreign visitor or travelers visiting the given country for studies, medical treatment, recreations to take a part in sports, cultural events, etc. These are not residents of a country they are visiting. And six, Workers from across the border who cross the border regularly to work in the given countries, they are treated as residents of the country where they live and not the residents of the country where they work. What is the fill in the blanks? Fall in the value of fixed assets due to normal wear and tear and expected obsolescence is called depreciation means consumption of its capital. Fall in the value of fixed assets due to unexpected outflow signs is called capital loss. And third, dash is the output produced within the economic territory is called domestic income. And four, it is the difference between net indirect taxes and subsidies is known as net indirect taxes. And fifth, lower down the price of the commodity. Subsidies lower down the price of the commodity. Fill in the blanks again. Dash refers to the price at which the commodity is sold at purchase in the market. Market price. 7. Taxes which are lived by the government on production and sale of commodities is called indirect taxes. Refers to all factors payment made by the production unit to the factors of production involved in the production of GDP. Factor cost. Normal residence is defined as a person who ordinarily resides in the country. And economic interest lies in the economic territory. And 10 factor cost plus net indirect taxes equals to market price. Classifying the following as a part of domestic territory or not. Profit earned by foreign bank in India. Yes, it's a part of domestic territory. Salary of Indian employee working in embassies of Japan in India. No. Salary of residents of Japan working in Indian embassy in Japan. Yes because it's a part of domestic territory of India. Profit earned by residents of India from its company in Singapore. No. Resident rent received by Indian from its building in London. No, it's not a part of domestic territory of India. It's a domestic territory of London. Profit earned by Indian employee working in the Pakistan embassy in India. No. Consultants fees paid to the foreign experts who stay in India. Yes, he's a... He's 
consultancy fees is uh, included in the domestic income of the India. Earning of American Express Bank, large branch located in Chennai. Yes, it's a part of domestic territory of India. Hi students, this is additional inf information for you. It's not uh, for examination point of view, but in the knowledge point of view. Did you know? Depreciation is also called as consumption of his capital and value of capital consumption and current annual replacement cost of his capital assets. Annual replacement investment to keep the value of fixed capital asset constant. Annual consumption allowance for normal wear and tear and unforeseen options and will maintenance and replacement cost of existing capital goods or regular wear and tear of capital part of capital stock used up in the end years of the production process cost of his capital goods divided by the number of year it is useful life in the next class we will understand about the concept of net factor income from abroad components and formula of domestic aggregates meaning of various aggregates like GDPMP, GDPFC, NDPMP and NDPFC and their interrelationships can identify the real flow and money flow of the circular flow of income can understand the inclusion of the circular flow of income into sector model can understand as to how saving taxes and imports are leakage and investment subsidies and exports injections thank you very much